You know I'm not the one for shopping okay. that long. My my attention span for shopping so is not that So you want to know why I run? Yes, yeah, so why am I really here? You know, let's just, can we, can we sit down and have this conversation? It's, it's going to be that type of conversation? Yes. Uh, OK, OK. I've often felt like since I was the younger sister that I was not heard. Like, I was just this mute little girl when it comes to the business. And I just couldn't take it anymore. You know, I just feel y'all leave me out of things because y'all think, oh, Ariel's not going to do it. I'm left off of email chains or conversations over the phone. So one day you may tell me, oh, yeah, we have this meeting on this day at this time. And I'm like, well, what are you guys talking about? I'm lost. So why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you fill me in? The other day at the dance studio, You guys mentioned me not holding my weight. Honestly, I tried. I come to the studio when I can. <laughs> so I just feel like sometimes you want me to live up to Kier's. Oh, Kier's not Ariel. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you felt that way. And. I don't want to live up to her accomplishments. I want to not be only just Kira's little sister. I really had no idea that you felt that way. Kira does have this nice, perfect life. I just feel like I have to do the same. I need to hurry up and get married. I need to have two or three businesses on my belt. And people often compare us like, oh, your sister was a cheerleader, so you were. Oh, your sister did a pageant, so now you're doing one and it kind of feels like I'm tag-along at the dance studio.